Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Xavier for Explain America and what you talking about, Fanny Willis. It looks like the chickens may be coming home to roost. You know, I don't really know what that saying means, but it's been around a long time. And I know what it means, but I don't know what chickens roosting has to do with anything. Anyway, chickens going to roost for Fanny Willis. Let's get to that story. But before we do, please make sure you like and you share. That's so important. Those two things more important than anything. But also comment, and if you haven't done so already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. We have a lot of fun here. So subscribe to us. Keep watching us every day. Fannie Willis, I think by any measure, most people on the Republican side at least, believe that the prosecution of former President Donald Trump and his associates is nothing more than a political witch hunt. That's what I believe. Now, she has a whole different case and a whole different set of facts that she's laid out and we can't sit here and judge that, right? We can't say for a fact that it's a witch hunt. But we do have a right to our opinion. And my opinion is this is a witch hunt. Or at least being done for political purposes. Even if there's a crime here, which I don't think there is. But even if there is, would this case be brought if this was not Donald Trump? Now, a lot of Republicans in Georgia don't think so. And they think she's abused her office. So they want to take steps to impeach her. Yes, impeach her. Now, they talked about it over the summer, but they were kind of squashed by Brian Kemp, the Republican governor of the state of Georgia, who says he does not see enough evidence to impeach Fannie Willis. Now, I think part of that might be because, you know, Mr. Kemp and Mr. Trump, not on the greatest of terms. I understand that, but you can't let that get in the way of doing your job, Mr. Kemp. And I think maybe that's what's happening a little bit here. So I don't like that. But some members of the legislature, well, they kind of found a way around that. See, they can convene a council. This law was signed into law by Brian Kemp. They can convene a council that could get rid of Fannie Willis if they believe she's not doing her job properly, if she's focusing on political vendettas, if she's not enforcing the law properly. They could convene a council that actually does get rid of her. So that's one thing to consider. Another thing to consider is that they can do something else. They can investigate her for the conditions of the Fulton County Jail. The same jail President Donald Trump was arraigned in, was booked in. That jail has had 10 deaths in the past year. Newspaper reports have come out about what a cesspool of filth and depravity it is how it is unhealthy and unsanitary, how the prisoners are at risk, how the guards are at risk in such a filth-ridden prison. And yet Fannie Willis, well, her focus is on Donald Trump. And that, well, that could, that could really end her because an investigation can lead to her removal in this case, not in the Trump case, but in the case of the Fulton County Jail. See, if she's been derelict in her duty of making sure that the jail is up to snuff, well, then they can remove her for that. So this is horrible news for Fannie Willis. And, and the hits have kept on coming because her number one nemesis in Congress, Jim Jordan, now he is the top contender for Speaker of the House. Imagine that. If you're Fannie Willis and the House wants to call you before, before them, they want you to show evidence that you weren't coordinating with the Biden administration and the Justice Department. They want to see all kinds of paperwork and phone records. And the guy in charge, the guy heading the whole thing, is Jim Jordan? The guy who you've called names? The guy who you've struck out as at? And now he's the guy? He's the guy that's going to determine all these things that involve you? Ooh, ooh, bad news week for Fannie Willis. And she was doing such a great job right up until then, wasn't she, guys? Ridiculous. I, listen, obviously my contempt for Miss Willis you know, is because of Trump, is because of what I think she's doing. It's also because I don't think she enforces the law properly in, in her county, which is why crime is rising. And, and she's no different than every woke attorney general in every Democrat-run city in this country. So nothing special about her in that regard. She's doing what she's supposed to do as a woke, progressive district attorney. And that is, of course, protect the criminals. So I want to know what you guys think about this. Let me know in the comments. Should Fannie Willis be gone from that office? Should she be off the Trump case? What do you guys think? 
Also, again, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps us out. I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.